everybody, this is Glenn Schofield from Sledgehammer Games, here with our latest patch, which comes out right before our Ascendance DLC drops on the PlayStation Network and for the three players on PC with the Season Pass. So get out your wallets, or better yet, ask your mom for hers in order to grab our second DLC pack. Hopefully this DLC will work straight out of the gate, unlike the Black Ops 3 beta website. So the biggest fix, which you already rolled out earlier this month, is to fix the Goliath invincibility glitch, which made round-based games, including our precious esports ones, completely unplayable. It's a shame that it took a glitch to make one of our score streaks actually viable in the game. More score streak bug fixes, including adjusting the Vulcan height on Perplex, as that map is just a giant race to the top, anyways, and the missile strike being uncontrollable on climate because it was too hot for it to work. We fixed an issue also where orbital care packages could be called into inaccessible areas. Speaking of inaccessible areas, we fixed some more map exploits because our game goes out of bounds more than Ray Allen in the NBA Finals. Other map areas that needed fixes were domination flags that would display contested and taking incorrectly and at times when a person wasn't even on the flag to begin with. We just wanted to make little Johnny feel included. We had adjusted spawn points for the drift map both before and after the dynamic map event because that's the only map that needs help. More on spawns, we updated the logic for domination, momentum, CTF, hardpoint, and uplink game modes. Of course there's nothing for free for all. At least it's better than the hardline TDM spawns. However, they still kind of look like this picture on your screen right now. Anyways, we did make one change for free for all. We fixed a bug where split screeners could boost, I mean enter into a free-for-all lobby. The next big fixes have to do with gun balancing. No, not my guns, our guns in the game. We've nerfed the ASM-1. Again, considering it had more ammo than scientists over climate change deniers, we lowered it to 35 instead of 45 or 54 instead of 67 with extended mags. If you still can't decimate all other guns at most ranges with a little bit less ammunition, you should just stop playing. We also buffed the Terabad MK14 and EPM3 via increased headshot multipliers and decreasing the heat buildup for the laser gun. The Pyotech now ADS is faster to encourage rushing and has its initial recoil reduce, which we put in there in the first place because after a few bullets, the thing has no recoil anyways. So much for creative detriments. We also did some generic connectivity and matchmaking improvements that we say we do in every single patch, which leads to a bunch of videos claiming that skill-based matchmaking was removed, but really, it's just a small sample size placebo. You got I still have to sweat it out, but much less than I do in my morning workouts. We also fixed some game invite issues, which we should have just blamed on Xbox One's shitty interface, and nobody would have been the wiser. That zombie underscore civilians counter bug has been fixed, so you squeakers can finally get those all-important trophies to brag to your friends about your nerdiness. Speaking of glitches, PC players can finally play our game again as we patch the out-of-memory bug it's too bad we can't patch the memory of people's opinions on our game. And no, of course I'm not offended that people are emphasizing Black Ops 3 movement is not EXOs. There are amazing innovation. It has nothing to do with the fact that 83% of a recent poll of 60,000 people said that they don't want EXOs ever again. They're totally not trying to win people over and sweeping the fact under the rug that thrust jumps are really just another name for boost jumps. And that EXOs are here to stay. Adapt or get left behind, bitches.